Well, this is Abel Taylor presenting my new album with Afrobeat Academy on Strat Records. Yeah, I got first into music uh, professionally when I was about uh, 20. Um, but I had started playing piano at the age of six and uh, I, I converted myself into a guitarist when I was at college. Open your kwame, sir. Of your kwame. On an oborn in your mind. In the late 50s, it was so exciting. Uh, I was a kid and uh, I, was, I had a chance to play for audiences, you know, much bigger than myself. E.T. Mezes' uh, era was the best in, uh, that Ghanaians uh, have had, had in her life. But then the form of her life changed as people introduced uh, introductions, riffs and uh, uh, coders and modulations, you know, all the instruments of music. So I had a chance to uh, learn how to arrange music. Stargazers needed her life to play and Broadway needed her life to play. And there were no more, there were not more very much many composers those days. I'm going to say, I worry. Yeah, I worry me and dream for now. Yeah, I worry me and dream for now. Yeah, we had a Ghana Black Star High Life Band, you know, sponsored by the Ghana High Commission. But at the same time, we jammed with uh, uh, the Nigerian musicians because they also loved our life. And they always come along, along and play with us, like Fela, like uh, uh, Peter King, uh, like Mike Falana. I knew Fela very well because uh, he was my friend. We were always discussing. He would say, Taylor, why don't you, you know, play our own thing? We always playing jazz. Jazz is for the American, and so we all started looking, you know, on our own, on our own table, you know. So he started the, uh, the Afrobeat in Nigeria, and it was very successful. Um, I working with C.K. Man and Pat Thomas, Papa Youngson, and others, Gidoble uh, Ambule, was to progress her life, you know. So the record companies hired me to uh, be the arranger. I was the Quincy Jones at that time. 